What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lion. And in today's video, I want to talk about a really big question. I want to talk about the question that so many women on my channel often ask me or just ask themselves or ask the universe in general. And that is, what makes a guy, what makes men want to commit to one woman versus another one? And do men in 2023 or you know nowadays even want to be in relationships? Do men even want to commit or do men just want to hook up and just move on from one woman to the next? And to demonstrate and to give you my answer today, I decided to do something that I don't often do. I don't really do a lot of stitches or anything like that, but I decided to show you this clip, which at first glance might seem to be very unrelated and it is, right? But I'm going to show you this clip and watch it till the end. It's going to all make sense in a few minutes, but I just want you to um, listen to what's going on in this clip, and I'm going to give you a, a parallel um, in the dating world. So let's get right into it. Let's watch this clip. I'm going to load up this tracks pack. Each one of these ounces is two grand. Let's see if somebody wants it for free. Sir, you are smart. Just bam. An ounce of gold. Come on, take it. Come on, you got it. Another potential, sir, ma'am. An ounce, right? It's good when they don't want to take an ounce. It feels so fucking good. Sir, this is, you really need one of these, bro. I'm telling you, bye bye, John. He don't. What is this? That's an ounce. ounce. What is this? Gold? It's what do you think it is, bro? You giving it out? Well, your hat's in your hands now. It's not my hands. You serious? Then you figure it out on wow, your own. You're on your own from here. Oh, man. I have to stop, bro. Thank you, guys. You know, you did it. Huh? You did the right. You made the right My wife is going to be happy when she knows this, brother. Thank you. Yes, not like this guy. Let's see if one of these beautiful ladies wants one. It's your daughter. We have a little gift for her. You should take it. Believe me. What is it? Well, you're going to have to trust your instincts. Okay. There you go. Goodbye. Okay. All right, sir, for you, tracks pack. You don't want it? Don't want it. Back in the bag. Here, sir. Uh, don't worry about it. Bird, do we got the tracks pack, sir? Well, that's too bad for him. All right, we got this. Uh, All right. It's an ounce of gold, bro. You took it, you got it. You're the winner. Don't worry. Run. Run with the gold. Run with the gold. Run it. Run with it, man. Ma'am? Uh -oh. Please. <laughs> I'm begging you. I love this video. All right, I'm Something. going to stop it right here because it, it's going to go on for a little while. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with this guy, Trax NYC. There's like this jeweler. He's in New York City and, you know, he creates a lot of social media content. And one of the things that he does, um, as far as I've seen on a pretty regular basis, he goes on the street and he gives out these, you know, really valuable things. He gives out like little, you know, pieces of gold like that, silver. I think there's other things. Um, and the parallel that I want to make, right? So this is like where the video is getting a little bit interesting. By the way, I feel like this is, is, is a really cool video. And, and it's been a few times I watched a few of his videos, right? They just come up on my um, on my reels, right? And I've always like, oh, I, I see this parallel with dating, but I never actually made the video. So here I am making this video right now. And the parallel to me, right? And what makes me really like this video is the fact that, you know, people in general, right? Men and women, we both value, um, we both associate and correlate value with effort, right? Something is only valuable when it requires a certain amount of effort in order to attain that thing, right? That's why something like a Ferrari is perceived to be more valuable and is actually, you know, costs so much more than a Toyota, right? And the reason for that, again, is because we perceive that there's more effort that is required to attain one. There's more effort that's required to attain a Ferrari than it is to attain a Corolla or whatever, another Toyota, right? Most people or a lot of people can afford a Toyota, but they can't afford a Ferrari. And therefore, there is a difference in price, right? It's a lot of people will think that, oh, no, but a Ferrari is just a better car. It's more reliable. Well, first of all, it's not more reliable, all right? And by far, most people who drive it, most people, right, don't drive or don't take full um, you know, use of the car, right? They don't use the full capacity of the engine, of the brakes, of all of these other expensive things and technology that goes into that car, right? They use it just like they would use another, you know what I mean, pretty inexpensive car to commute from A to B. The difference is, is that it perceives to be value. So it gives them some level of status, right? Um, another thing like maybe like diamonds or jewelry, right? Like a, a glass, you know, rock looks exactly the same for all, to the naked eye as a real diamond. But the difference in price is insane. Again, just based on the 
value based on the fact that it takes way more effort to attain one versus the other. Otherwise, they're useless, right? It's not like we're going to use that diamond in order to cut things with it. Like, you know, um, it's, it's just a piece of decoration, just a piece of jewelry. So what I'm trying to say, right, I digress. But what I'm trying to say is that, again, people associate and correlate value, right, real value. Something is only valuable to us when we perceive or think that it requires a certain level of effort. So when he goes on the street and just hands people something, right, and the more valuable that thing that he's going to be handing them, the more likely that they will walk away from it because they don't feel like they deserve it. They don't feel like they have earned it. They haven't put the effort to earn something of this high value. Therefore, what are they doing? They're automatically looking for you know what it means? A scam. They're automatically looking. Is there a camera somewhere, right? Is, 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 and there is a camera. Obviously, th th this video is being recorded, right? So they see that and they automatically think, oh, there's something wrong with this picture. There's something wrong with either what he's giving me or it's like a joke or it's a prank or it's, right? We can't believe that someone would give us something of such high value with absolutely no effort. It doesn't match up, right? Um, and again, this is something that he does in like New York City. This is not something that he does like somewhere in a remote village, somewhere in Tibet, you know what I mean? Outside of a monastery or something where people don't really care, right? Or don't value material things as much. We talk about like New York City is literally walking in Manhattan and he's doing these things, right? Where people are more than anywhere, or arguably anywhere in the world, value material things and money and financial success and all of that stuff. So if these people refuse it, Right? That's, that's, that's the crazy part, right? And, and that's what should make you think. And here's the parallel with dating. One of the comments that I sometimes get on my channel is like, hey, you know what? Men just want one thing anyway. Men don't want relationships. Men just want to sleep with you. Men just want to hook up. Men just want sex and that's it. They don't want to commit. They don't want a relationship. It's the hookup culture, blah, 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 blah. I get this comment on a pretty frequent uh, basis. But if you, you know what I mean, approach men and there are things, plenty of social you know experiments that have been done about that as well where you know a beautiful girl would like just approach a man on the street and would literally just tell him how much she's into him and even maybe sometimes invite him to like you know what i mean date her or go on a date with her or maybe even worse just go in and like hook up with her right most men by far most men with very few exceptions will reject her right there and then reject her offer and just you know walk away from that very, very similar to what you've seen in this video right now, where you're offering them something so valuable, right? You say that, hey, you know, men just want to have sex, yet you are coming in and you're offering him that thing. You're telling him, on a, giving them to them on a silver platter. You say, hey, this is what you want. Beautiful girl, beautiful woman, offering you what apparently, you know what I mean, you want more than anything else today. And most men, by far most men, are just going to walk away from that situation. Again, why is that? Is it because they're not attracted to her? Is it because they don't want to sleep with a woman? No. It's simply because, again, they don't believe that something of such high value, right? This beautiful girl offering them, you know what I mean, a date or offering them to hook up or sleep with her, right? Is offering them something of so, of so much value, right? Yet they haven't had to earn it. They haven't had to like, you know, pick her up or say something or like, you know what I mean, intrigue her in like some sort of conversation, right? Or, you know what I mean? They're not a celebrity or anything like that that will... You know what I mean? Attract that type of attention. They feel like it's unwarranted. They feel like it's unearned. And when we feel like it's unearned, we don't feel like it's really valuable. What are these men thinking? These men that are going to be walking down the street, they're thinking exactly the same thing as all of these people in his video. They're going to be thinking, what's the scam? What's wrong with this picture? What is wrong with her, right? Why is she going and giving me something of, you know, trying to give me something of so much value for absolutely nothing, for free? It, it's unearned, unwarranted, right? Now, the same applies, and this is the, 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 the conclusion to this video. The same applies when you start dating someone, ladies. And right off the bat, maybe a couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks in, right? Before you actually both really take the time to get to know one another, right? Before taking a couple of months to really, you know, spend time with each other and get to know one another, you're already bringing up conversations about our relationship. You're already trying to expedite the process. You're trying to rush a relationship. You're trying to rush into exclusivity. You're trying to rush into commitment, right? What you're saying is like, you want to stop seeing anyone else. You want to be exclusive. You want them to be exclusive and you want to jump into a relationship with someone. When you do that, men react the exact same way as most people react in this video. 
they go, wait a second, what is going on? What is wrong with this picture? Why is this woman who seemed to be really you know, beautiful and seemed to be very attractive and she's smart and she's confident, why is she all of a sudden trying to rush this process, right? Why is she so desperate to you know, get to that end result of that relationship, right? What is wrong with her? What are some things that I'm not currently seeing about her, right? that make her so desperate, that make her want to expedite the process, to rush this. She doesn't even know me. She doesn't even know everything. I haven't had a chance to really earn her trust, earn her, you know what I mean? Her love, earn all of these, you know, really amazing relationship benefits, yet she's willing to offer me all of these benefits right here and now. And again, I haven't really taken the time to earn it. And when you do that, when you are rushing that process, when you are just trying, and I understand what you're doing, you're thinking that you're going to just save yourself some time because you don't want to date a guy who doesn't want what you want. Blah, blah. But again, you're ruining so many great opportunities because even at the guy who might have been there for the right reasons, even a guy who might want what you want, right? Now, is probably going to leave, right? Now, he's probably going to say to himself, listen, I thought this was good, but this is not that great. So my advice to you is take your time, allow him, right? I'm not saying play hard to get, but you should be a woman that is who is hard to get. Someone who has a full life, someone who doesn't want to rush things like exclusivity or commitment, right? You want to make sure that you're with the right person. You want to make sure that that person proves to you that they are, you know what I mean? The person that you want to build a relationship with through consistent effort through time, right? Take, take a few weeks, take a few months, right? For him to like put in that consistent effort what I want to tell you finally, right, to, to conclude this video, right, because I don't want to make it too long, but men always want to feel like they get lucky enough to get to be in a relationship with you. That's when men want a relationship, is when we feel, is when men feel like they just got lucky enough to get the opportunity to be in a relationship with you. That's when they want to be in a relationship. Men never want to feel like they have to be in a relationship with you. If it comes with a sense of obligation, right? So if you put giving him ultimatums, if you're trying to rush the process, right? If you avoid, you know, setting boundaries, but instead you're trying to get him to commit really quickly so you don't need these boundaries, that's when he's going to want to run the other way. That's when he's going to try to avoid these relationships. That's when he's going to start looking elsewhere. That's when he's not ready. That's when he's confused. That's when he's all of these things that are just going to cost you more time at the end. So instead of trying to rush the process and trying to, instead of trying to rush these conversations and rush a relationship, right? Take your time, allow him to earn that with you, right? The more he feels like he has earned it, the more now, right? He's going to see the value. He's going to correlate. He's going to associate that amount of effort that he put with the value of what he's going to get. But if you're going to try to rush it without him trying to, without him having a chance to really earn it, he's going to think that it's not as valuable and he's not going to want it. Even though that thing could be amazing, even though that thing, that relationship, all these benefits, like what you represent and what you can offer him is literally like the gold, right? That's offered in this video. Doesn't matter how amazing it is, right? It's how you, it's the perception. It's how they perceive it. So again, take your time. Don't rush the process. Learn how to set boundaries along the way. Right? And you'll find out that all of a sudden, all of these guys that you thought that just want, you know what I mean, sex, or just want to sleep with you, or just want, are going to want to build a relationship with you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.